Okay guys, so today we're going to... So we're gonna create Mario Bros. letters in graffiti style. All right, first we are going to download the uh, font and you can go to any um, any website and type um, Mario Bros. font. The Super Mario Bros. font, where is it? This one. Mm. Yeah, so I already downloaded it. And okay, but basically, you know, you let's create a uh, text. For now, we're gonna type um, just the A, B, C. We're gonna use all capital letters, A, B, C for now. And then we're going to go into the uh, the font, which is right here, this, the new Super Mario font. You go import fonts, I'm gonna do a quick step. Import fonts, and then you go to your files, to your downloads, and while create a folder of fonts. And this is where I downloaded it. Uh, property items, fonts, there you go, I put them here. So there it goes. And then you select the one that you wanna import and I already import the uh, font, so it should be here already. Yeah. Then we're gonna start with um first letter. So let's uh, delete the other letters for now. Well, the normal opacity, create a new layer. And then what I do is I grab my pen, my pencil, and then I kind of like start, you know, sketching the font. But in my style, in this case, it's kind of like, I give it a little twist. So since this font is kind of like more like this stray out blocks, because it's like a bunch of blocks, like you have one block here, then you have another block here, and then you have another block here. So it's not that hard. So what I did is I made this one right here a little bit bigger, right? And then this one, I tilted it up and then pulled it back. And I pretty much put this into an angle as well. And then make this end smaller than this end. This end is bigger, you know what I mean? So now, and then I made this little part right here smaller as well. So. I'm gonna delete this part right here. I'm gonna delete this extra stuff right here. So if you can see, it's kind of like the same font, but not completely, you know what I mean? At the end, it becomes like a different style, but it's kind of like the same style, All right? So that's kind of like the structure of how you create the um, the letters, All right? So now let's finish the letter. So that's step one, and we're gonna do step two. So I pretty much, now that we're done with the, uh, the main letter, I go ahead and hide it and I lower the opacity of the sketch so like that we start with the new one so basically the next step will be coloring right color the, the letter so what I do is I go to my selection tool put freehand and then start selecting each point right selecting each point and in this case we're gonna remove the center part then we're gonna choose our color which in this case is gonna be red I think I have a color palette there you go I created a color palette it's the red one right here so I have two colors like the main one and then the shadow one okay that's the main color then the other one is gonna be the outline so now that we have that right we need to do the uh the stroke the outline so it's pretty much the same in this case we are going to trace like a little bit farther not that far but a little bit farther than where the text is we're gonna go all around it. Make sure you create a new layer and then drop the black. So now you have your, so you repeat this process with all the letters. Now let's add the, uh, the shine part. The shine part is pretty much the same. You go create a new layer, obviously, right? We're going to make it all straight. And in this case, it's gonna be like, you know, we're gonna go around the middle part. This could also be white. You could add white to it and then lower the opacity to like 10% and then you also will have like a nice glossy different color so now we group this let's rename it to letter A and then we move on to the next letter which in this case will be the letter B right we'll do the B and same thing right you're gonna try to follow the same idea, you know, creating blocks, creating um, thick um, lines for the letter. So we're gonna sketch it out, right? We're gonna sketch out, use your pencil brush. Then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna follow this in this case. Like what I'm doing is tracing like the main lines, right? Like the main lines. And in this case, we don't want it to look the same. So what we're gonna do is kind of switched it up a little bit in this case one the inner inner holes to be like this like the big the top one bigger than the bottom one then we're gonna break it down here and basically it's kind of like the same make it a little bit longer let like you give it your own twist and here we want it to extend out and then align with that one 
right? So we'll lower the opacity of the main text. Let's try to delete those parts that we don't want. You don't have to delete them because essentially you're gonna create a new layer with the uh, with the right um, shape. Just hide the main one and or you can put the main one side by side so like that you, you see the difference, right? Similar, but it's not the same. And there you go, you have your letter B, right? In this case, we are going to create the letter B in a different color. Cause you know, the Mario Mario font is like, you do the same thing, you you do straight lines. In this case, we're gonna use the yellow one. Voila. Okay, miss one part. I missed I gotta take out the center part and that part needs to be removed because it's gonna be unselected then we drop the yellow one make sure you're on the new layer hide the sketch the outer stroke you go one around it then we just throw the black make sure you're in the new layer behind your letter and voila now you have your letter b now we're gonna add a layer in front of your main letter to make the shine part we're gonna do the same thing. We're always gonna use a selection tool because it's easier to create the lines instead of trying to draw with whatever brush you think you, you'll be able to do it. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not gonna be the same. I was doing like that before, like doing this, but it didn't quite, it didn't quite work as I planned, you know? It was not working. It was just giving me like a weird, edgy freaking corner and you know, this time it worked, but before it wasn't. And then you could do that, or the selection tool, whichever feels, whichever you feel more comfortable with. And obviously lower the opacity and group the whole thing, rename it to B, and then there you go. You have two letters now, you have two letters. And we're gonna follow this process with all of the letters. So we're gonna do one more letter. We're gonna do the letter C. So it's practically the same. You could group your sketches, move them behind, let's do the letter C, create a new layer, and same thing, like, you try to, like, pretty much sketch the letter, right, with your pencil, lower the opacity, you sketch the letter, right, until a point that, you know, feels that's how you want the letter to be, right, you remember you have thick lines you could lower the opacity of your pencil so like that it's not that hard and now you have your letter c pretty much erasing the extra lines that you have just so you could get a better feel how it looks and now we're gonna trace it lower your opacity on that create a new layer hide the main one because you don't need it anymore and then you're going to your selection tool start selecting the main points you know what i mean you don't have to be perfect as long as you follow the shape and then in this case we're gonna color it green right i'm gonna throw it in there let's make it a little bit darker there you go now we have the letter c right so the next step is to create the stroke so what we do is you know we go off a little bit start tracing around it and then make sure you run the new layer drop the color black and voila now you have the shadow or the stroke now we're gonna create the uh, shine part the glossy part same thing in this case we're gonna do the uh, use the selection tool you're gonna go like this you can do it as close as you want or however you feel like it and throw the white on top of it lower the opacity to like in somewhere in the tent and then unselect it group your letter c rename it and now you have the letter c there you go. Now that you have the main idea, you could start creating the other the other letters based off the main font, right? The main font. So if you take a look at it, it's not the same, right? In this case, I'm gonna create five letters across. So it's it's not the same, but it's similar, right? It's kind of similar, but you give it your own style. Like the A is definitely not the same, right? Watch. Sorry, the opacity. Move this to the front. See, the letter A is not the same. The B is not the same. The C is definitely not the same, right? So you give it like own 
style, which will make the difference. We're gonna create one more, so like that. We create, let's create the five of them. We're gonna do the letter D. Let's do three layers, so like that. We started with the middle one, and we're gonna do the sketch part, right? We're gonna lower the opacity of the uh, font, like 6%, whatever. In this case, I want kind of like the same thing. Like, I wanna have the, the top part to be wider than the bottom, so we do this right here. So you create your main shape, you know, like the top wider than the bottom one, right? And then you do your other shapes. And then same thing, in this case, I want this part to be wider than the top. So like that we have, you know, <coughs> we have created like a different letter instead of having the same letter. And then we just connect the dots right here. Let's delete this extra line so like that we see, let's use the medium airbrush so like that we, there you go. You put over the opacity of the eraser so like that it's kind of like a real eraser it's not erasing everything but it's just erasing some of it okay now you have your letter d right okay what we're gonna do now is the same thing we go over the new layer we lower the opacity of our sketch we hide the main font and then we trace our sketch with the selection tool remember to remove the, the inner holes of the letters like the letter b d or i don't know the o the r the q they have this little hole so you gotta remember to remove that and this one we're going to use like a light gray okay okay now that we have that you know we put a layer behind let's move this sketch with the rest of the sketches let's name this folder sketches okay we go to the we're gonna create a stroke so same thing boom boom the stroke could be like very thick and very thin but remember to leave like a little space from the font it don't have to be perfect it could be like this side right here is thicker than this part so like it gives it like the you know it's not perfect but it's kind of like a graffiti style you know like it, it's a little off now we're gonna we're going to add the glossy part. You create a layer on top of your main shape. You go to your selection tool. And in this case, we're gonna start with this corner. We're gonna follow this part. And we're gonna follow the uh, the pattern that we've been doing for for the rest of the letters. You know, it, it kinda, it's kinda like an angle. You know what I mean? Kinda like an angle. And then we add Y to this, right? And then we lower that opacity. This one we're gonna lower like 50% because it's it's you have a light gray with white and then you know so like that you could see the letter. Now we group the letter, rename it D, right, and move it right next to the other ones. Voila. Let's try to put it behind the C so like that it's kind of like on top of each other. Right. Okay. So now finally we're gonna do the last letter and then the rest of them I'm going to like speed it up pretty much. We're gonna do the rest of the letters. Mm, let's do it right here, under the letter D. We're gonna create four layers, because one is gonna be the sketch, the other one is gonna be the glossy, the other is gonna be the shape, the main shape, and the other one is gonna be the stroke. You don't have to name those, because it's only like three shapes, four letter. So I'm creating four because one is gonna be the sketch. Now we go to like the, the main font. We're gonna create the E, so same thing. The opacity is low. We're gonna pick our sketch pen brush and we're gonna do straight lines. Whoa, make sure you got the black color selected. We're gonna do our sketch. Same thing, right? We start with pick one on the top, small one on the bottom, and then same thing. Large side here, right? Small side here. You see? Large size, small size. Right? Now we're gonna do top one. Since we don't want it to be the same, we're kinda doing a little bit different. This part is gonna be the opposite. This side is gonna be smaller. But you're gonna do another color. And this side is obviously gonna be a bigger side. And then the center part could be like the same. Smaller, big on top. I'm gonna point it out right here. Watch. If you haven't seen it. So this part, 
right? This part is the big, the large part. And this part is obviously the small part, right? The small N, there you go, the small N. There's the large N, and there's a the small N. Same thing with this large N, and this is the small N, right? Same thing here, large N, small N, right? Small N. Same thing right here, small, large. So now that we have that, right, we could delete these extra lines. Now you have your letter. <laughs> now we lower the opacity of our sketch, right? And we start with the middle layer because we have three layers. One is gonna be our shine, our main letter, and the stroke. So we're gonna start with the middle one. We go to our selection tool, boom. Start selecting the main point. Close it out, this one has no hole, so for that one we're gonna be using like a light blue. Voila, hide your main main sketch, hide your main font. We're going to do the strokes, or we're going to stroke all around our text. Oh man, I'm gonna put black. I'm gonna finish it before the baby starts crying. We're gonna do shine, which is gonna be something simple like this. And I'll be back. We're gonna do white. Make sure you're on your top layer, lower the opacity, and there you go guys. Now we have we have that letter E. All right, so as you can see, I got most of them done. I went and did them a while back, so here's all of the letters put together with the glossiness and the stroke. And then after you have all the letters put together, I added like a shadow, like a 3D shadow, so it has some dimension. And then after that, I started adding some, some elements like the question mark right here. Then of course I add a um, Mario, like in the middle. Like you could put whatever you want, but that's what I added, Mario in the middle. And then what else did I add? Um, da, 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 da. Okay, I created a little mushroom, mushroom right here. A turtle. I made two turtles, a green one and a blue turtle. And another mushroom right here with a pipe. A pipe right here. All right, so that's pretty much how I did the um, the Mario Bros lettering, like my own style. Obviously, you could add more to it, or you could add more details, but this is kind of like the same style that he has, the uh, Mario logo. So if you go and look for like, the same idea, right? But obviously, I did it my own way. Let me see if I can put this. Mm, whatever. Right? But it's obviously not the same. Mine, it's a little bit different than this one. And I'm gonna show you a name I created with the on letters, which is okay. So, so this is what I did with those letters, right? Right. This is what I did with those letters. I created a name with those letters. Obviously, added like all the little details here and there, right? Like obviously, I added Mario, and then I added the um. Like a plant coming out of the pipe. And this I did it in Procreate. Yeah, I did the plant in Procreate. Because I think I did the name in Illustrator and I changed the um the colors of the letters a little bit because the J used to be green, the O used to be white, the R used to be white as well, and then the D was white and the A is red and then the N was yellow. So I Play around with the colors so like that the name didn't have repeated colors. So you see the letters here are obviously not the, they're the same letters. They're different colors. The J is green, whatever. The O is white, the D is still white, the R, you know, change. But if I would have kept these the same colors as, as the alphabet, it would not look right. So I kinda play around with the colors right here 
for the name purpose only. And this is what I got from these alphabet. So I could play around with create different names using the alphabet. I made this in, in Procreate first. Since I noticed this was pretty much very simple in these flat colors, I went and did it in Illustrator. I went and did each letter again in Illustrator so like that I have a like an illustration of each letter. I did this in Illustrator and every letter looks nice and clean. So it looks way better. And it's easier to like change each colors for each letter if I wanted to create a different name or whatever. And yep, that's pretty much my Mario lettering graffiti style. All right guys, so please, if you like this, hit the like button, comment if you want your name with these um, letters. And I'll try to make a quick video and then I have to go. Peace out.